I'm revving. I'm great. Just protecting my investment. Ask about me. Integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur flyweight fight is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the blue corner, making his amateur debut. His height, five feet, five inches, and his weight, 126 pounds. He trains with Scorpion Fighting System and comes to you from Brighton, Michigan. His name is Andrew Garcia. And his opponent, out of the one more gym red corner, also making his amateur debut. His height, five feet, 10 inches. His weight, 125 pounds. He trains with Dark Horse Martial Arts and comes to you from Paducah, Kentucky. His name is Jalen Blackline. Vote! The referee for this fight is Chris Kendrick. Jalen Volt, Andrew Garcia, both making their amateur debut. Both guys gonna come out. I'm sure this is gonna be another ready, one of the fireworks, Alex. Good good touch. This guy's the center of the cage here. Oh, the head kick right almost away. lands right away for Volt. Volt right away on the head kick, straight to the neck. Andrew Garcia relentless on the takedown. Jalen Bolt really working hard to get his back to the cage, get back to his feet, getting good information from his corner to wall walk. He's doing a lot of attempts at that right now, as Andrew Garcia is doing everything he can to keep him stapled to the mat. Very wise for Andrew Garcia. Walked right to the center and almost ate a, a devastating head kick. It immediately says, no, nah, we're going to go to the ground right now. This very good game plan for Andrew Garcia. Andrew Garcia in half guard right now. Just content to kind of lay here and control this out. Jalen a hard on that neck. Is Garcia going for a Von Flew here? He is definitely in risk of the Von Flew and not so much now back to half guard. Andrew Garcia all the way to full guard here. Vote doing a good job of dominating a left side overhook. He's got submission attempts with those long legs. If he's able to get wrist control on the right side, maybe isolate one arm and shoot a triangle up. That's what Vote is looking to do here. Vote with the open guard here, trying to hip out, trying to get his back to the cage as instructed by his corner. Get to the wall walk. Good job of Garcia making Vote pay for it, landing big punches. Vote back to his feet, but he ate a lot of punches on the way here to the over underhook battle. Andrew Garcia kind of a, a loose over under pressing Jalen Vote against the cage here. Again, both fighters in this over on earth battle. Jalen Volt from the outside, back and forth. There's a lot of energy being exerted here, whether you know it or not, right, Alex? Well, yeah, and the thing about the over-under hooks is that you can't push too much because you can get thrown. And vice versa, your opponent can't push too much because he can be thrown. So the only thing you can really do here is try to pummel in and get your other underhook. Definitely, Alex, definitely in the vulnerability of that lat drop there in that over-under battle if you push too hard. As Andrew Garcia just pushes Jalen Volt against the cage here with double unders now. Can't tell if Jalen Volt has that right side underhook or not. Nope. Andrew Garcia with the double underhooks trying to wrestle Jalen Volt to the ground here. Jalen Volt eats a little bit of knee. Volt's doing a good job of sneaking in his own knees as well. Garcia with the body lock. Trying to rip Vote down, but very nice hits from Jalen Vote. Garcia relentless on the takedown as he gets the leg trip takedown here right into half guard. Right at the end of the round, Andrew Garcia may have just completely stolen that round. Good job from Vote, though. I I'm seeing as soon as he gets down to the mat, he's starting to fight hands. Both guys showing very high level skill of mixed martial arts. Alex, like we talked about before this fight even started, you knew what to expect and we're giving you exactly what you expect. High level mixed martial arts, folks. You see the huge slam there by Andrew Garcia as he works to get Jalen Vogt to the mat, but Jalen just relentless to get up, back to the cage, back to his feet, and again, Andrew Garcia back to the slam. 
What an exciting round. And subtle things are going on in this fight that if you don't if you if you're not well trained or you've never fought MMA, you may not know. But every single time Vote was he was getting taken down, he was. But every single time he was getting taken down, he was threatening submissions. You saw him on the neck with the guillotine. He was trying to work to improve that and get it to a finishing position. He starts to push a hand into the chest and shoot up his legs for a triangle. And what that does for the mentality of Andrew Garcia, he he knows I can get the takedown, but is it in my best interest, really? Because I could also get submitted at any time. Jalen Vogt definitely showing his Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills there. As we said, he's been training since he was eight. And that shows exactly like you said, Alex. Every time it hits the mat, right away he's firing up something. He's reaching for a grip, exactly like you said. And it's given a, even though Andrew Garcia has been on top, he's had a lot of trouble to stay on top. He has. And, but I think, again, Vote is a... a almost six foot tall, 125 pounder. So that's probably gonna be in his best interest to keep getting takedowns for Andrew Garcia. And definitely, let's see if he can do it here to start off round two. Both fighters at center of the cage. Head kick. Vote's it. throwing in some fancy shots. Vote with the one, two, back to the head kick. Garcia wants no part of it. He tried to get this one right back to the ground with the leg trip. Succeeds right into full or side mount. As Vote's fighting right back into, trying to get right back to guard or butterfly guard. And again, look at the right hand of Jalen Vote. He's, look what he's doing. He's isolating a hand, looking to shoot something up. But this is the path of least resistance for Andrew Garcia. He cannot stand in front of Jalen Vote. Definitely not. Does not want to eat any of those sharp blades, as you talked about before of Jalen Vogt. Jalen Vogt here with the, the shin shield, trying to create some distance as he works for the leg here. Vogt looking to extend the knee, possibly working for a knee bar here, but he's in bad spot with his own legs right now. He's got to improve. Vogt needs to thread. Oh, he's on the toe hold now. Vogt hard on the toe hold of Andrew Garcia. He's not actually grabbing the toes. Jalen Vogt isn't. He needs to reach down and grab him as he does there. Jalen Vogt got both hands tied up on the leg of Andrew Garcia. That may ward him a few punches here in just a few seconds. And now if you're an experienced fighter, if you're a, a Zach Camaro or a championship fighter here in the B2 Fighting Series, you know, okay, I'm not going to finish this submission. I'm going to use it to come on top. And that's exactly what it looks like Andrew Garcia did. Oh! To come on top and throw some heavy leather. As some of those leathers connecting all over the face of Jalen Volt right now, he transitions right to the double, Alex. Garcia landed big shots there. He's so impressive. Garcia still throwing heavy leather all over the positions. It looks like it's a nasty scramble, but what these guys are doing is totally calculated and throwing heavy leather. And again, here we see Vogt on this toe hold. Vogt back to that leg right now, back to that toe hold. Well, and it hasn't worked yet, but it only you're good until you're not good, right, Rocky? And that's the thing about these leg locks is they don't hurt until it's too late, Alex. And, and Vote working to improve this. He's on the straight ankle now. This can get bad, but Garcia doing a good job. He's starting to stand up, get good posture. Vote really trying hard on that leg lock right now. Andrew Garcia is not really showing any pain from it, though, as he stands right up to line some heavy right hands to the head. Jalen Volt. He's eating a lot of hard leather here. Oh, he went for he's going for that Kimura, Alex. Big that him a big slam. Volt might be uh having cobwebs here. He's he's looking around. He, I, I don't think he knows what's going on. He's going for that rear naked choke right there, Alex. Volt doing a good job. Oh, he tapped. Referee Chris Kenman stepped in and got the tap on that one. My goodness, what a back and forth about Andrew Garcia and Nash. Great trade. Andrew Garcia all over the takedown attempts on that one. He got the takedown, got the back take, and got the choke. And he he cooked them. He cooked the beans. I mean, he, he put the punches in. The head space of Jalen Vogt wasn't there. He's, he was rocked. He was rattled. He started to look at the ref. He didn't know what was going on. It all started with that big slam. Let's see if we can get that here. He ate a, he, a lot of right hands right there, as you see. Anytime you get your back taken and you go for that kimono right there, you know that you're vulnerable to that slam. And that's exactly what Andrew Lenz did. And there's where the butterflies came in, I think, Alex, in that slam. 
Right away to the back take and the rear naked choke. Really impressive technique from both of these guys. Definitely impressive, and that's what you're going to see here at the B2 Fighting Series. You will be impressed. Let's go to our ring announcer, Lance Green, to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Chris Kidman, has brought a stop to this fight at two minutes and 59 seconds into the second round. By way of rear neck and choke, your winner out of the blue corner, Andrew Garcia! Andrew Garcia leaving the cage here tonight with his first win. Excellent performance. With the same ones that was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when the ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one 